I'm David Pike, millionaire turned gypsy. Hallelujah, can you give him a hand and make him welcome? I was a preacher with thousands of followers. I said, well, let me tell you a little more. You ready? I was a businessman who made millions in scrap. Go! Yeah! Good job, nobody got hurt. I had it all, cars, boats, planes, and more real estate than I could keep track of. I was living the American dream, and I was miserable. So I gave it all away and hit the road with family and friends on board. Being locked down tends to make you small-minded, you know? You see the same thing over and over and over, and I don't ever want to do that. Ready to go for a long ride? Uh-huh. We packed enough to put on a truck, and we hit 85 coming out of Georgia and didn't look back. Most people, I think, are afraid, but David is adventurous. A gypsy, but not a tramp or thief. I needed a way to make an honest living. So I looked to the 70s for our transportation and our business plan. Gentlemen, this is the EM50 urban assault vehicle. Real beauty, Colonel. You can count on us. The NASA-inspired GMC motorhome. We're gonna buy them cheap. $900, we got a deal. Live in them hard. You're in my zone right now. Fix them up nice. And sell them high. Brand new, everything from the frame up. That's gorgeous. 100 grand cash. You just bought yourself a motorhome. I find them in the backwoods of America. Yeah, it's a little crowded. Barns, fields, and junkyards. Occasionally, we run into something weird. Go ahead and knock on it. It's not always a good thing to go up to a stranger's home, and especially an RV, and start inquiring to buy it. That can be offensive to some people. I mean, you really never know what you might walk into. Hey, how are you? OK. Uh, my name's David Pike. Just, uh, Otis? Call me Bigfoot. When I first met Otis, I didn't know if I needed to run or what his story was. We saw your motorhome from the road. Just wanted to stop in and talk to you about it. Are you interested in selling it? I have been interested in it. Have you? Yes, sir. I'd like to just look it over while we're here, if you don't mind. Come on in. Guys, y'all want to come check this thing out? Check out the airbags and the tires, the engine. Let's see what we got here. I've enjoyed it the hell out of it, to tell you the truth. No rent, no utilities. You go where you want and do what you want. For me, it wasn't wide enough, not enough closet space. Whoa. Every one of these old GMCs, because of having a 40-year history, I mean, you can only imagine all the things that they've been through. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you actually just travel with these birds in here? Oh, uh, yeah. This lady has 57 birds. Some of them's potty trained. I hope this one on my shoulder is. <laughs> Well, no, no, it's not. Whoa. Hey, Dad. Check this out. We got a problem? Uh, maybe not. Stick your head in there and look to the left. Wow. There's moonshine just stacked in there, you know, jar after jar. Might have to see if we can negotiate this into the deal. Gosh, I don't know about the GMC ever running moonshine. I drove it a lot, if that's a clue. What's it doing in here? Storage. Storage? GMC had a lot of hiding places for shine. I might take this old clunker off your hands. Well, let's negotiate. With any business plan, you've got to be able to find a good deal to begin with. Give you $4,000 cash today, and I'll drive it out of your yard. And $1,000 for shine. How many jars you said are in here? I ain't got a clue. You'd have to ask my mama. I I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you the 5,000. If we got a deal, we'll buy it right now. $5,000, you leave everything in here just like it is. Is that a deal? Deal. Dad tends to leave money on the table sometimes. Hey guys, I need a dollar figure assessment. What do you think it's worth, Dave? $2,000. Oh, it's worth more than that. Did you look at this guy? His nickname is Bigfoot. He's really nice, but I start negotiating and insulting. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. He's not I mean, going to negotiate, but maybe a few hundred dollars. I'd rather just pay the man and go. $2,500. I yes, appreciate sir. it. All right, we got a deal. Yes, sir. My son is an excellent negotiator. Do you want to make, do you want to put a number on it? 
<laughs> I'll, I'll hurt your feelings. I mean, 700 bucks. Yeah, I mean, I, it's impossible. Yeah. And I'm always the nice guy because I'm willing to pay people what they want uh, as long as it fits my budget. So he's more of the numbers guy and I'm more of the emotional guy when it comes to dealing with people. Appreciate it. Y'all hold on, boys, because it's going to be a little bump right here. Woohoo! We bought this motorhome, and uh, we realized that the airbags were bad. Losing my air fast. Let's pull in right here and air this sucker up. The airbag is the suspension of the vehicle, so the whole rear end of the vehicle is riding on two airbags, differential. So once the air goes out of the bag, we're stranded. We need air! Hold the traffic. And then we have to stop the service truck, air the bags up. Let's see if we can make it to a station. Go three more miles, and we're down again. Be careful. Having to stop and air this thing up, just absolutely ridiculous. Everybody in? It won't go anymore. Shifter ain't shifting. As soon as we go, Dad tries to put it in reverse, and the shifter's just, it's doing nothing. OK, this is going to be fun. Are you going to shift it manually? Yeah. The only way we had to change the transmission was to have my son to crawl under the motorhome to put it in gear every time that I moved. Just hold your foot on the brake, OK? I'm on the brake. My head is right at the tire, so I'm like, you know, please put all you got into the brakes, you know, so you don't squish my head. It was a very risky situation. All right, I just changed gears. See what gear that is. There it goes. Yeah, it's working. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, baby! She's rolling. <laughs> Airbags need some work, but we made it. I was so thankful to be back safe at the RV park with another bus as part of the fleet. I got a casa wheel, yeah. I'm living when I'm on the road with one of these motorhomes. You can get so successful, you forget how to live. Oh, come on. You ready? Yeah, come on. There you go. Take your nip. Ooh-wee. That's good oh, stuff, ain't it? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> the American dream it should be being happy, doing what you love, you know, living your life. You wake up as a child every morning saying, I'm going to do this when I get older, and then you don't. Well, we just do. I could be going home to a big home on 50 acres with a swimming pool in the backyard, and I walked away to come by a $900 motorhome and bring it in here while everybody else is out planning their two-week vacation. My life is a vacation. I mean, it's just awesome. Does it feel good if you're trying?